Now, since we're here, I did want to check some of the lore I've been um, putting off. Oh, it's been multiple. Well, is it counting local days? I'm not sure now if the if the planet just has really short cycles, or if uh, the game is just like sped up for convenience's sake. Let's see. Um, life pod 17. Aussie's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared, and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if it's rocks or. Aliens and there's some weird, there's weird looking caves nearby, man. Caves are weird. The Aurora was carrying everything I need to build the phase gate. Oh well, vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. We had a cinema. There's a zero D gym, a cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. All right, someone's a little fucking egotistical. Jeez. The engineering drone. Drone. Give me a propulsion cannon. Propulsion cannon. To you. Hey, Berkeley. Install that circuit box with that propulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Berkeley. Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors. Recalibrated. Sensors aren't a problem. I tweaked the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. Berkeley. Brown. I know. U-T-O-U. His name's Albert now. Berkeley. Albert. Well, it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thank you for your time. The propulsion cannon cannot... Propulsion cannon retrieved. Berkeley. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Berkeley. Boss. Hobby of yours ain't making my job any easier. Or safer. CTOU. Maybe so. That's all that's stopping me from being so bored I spacewalk in my skivvies. Sounds like a great fucking manager fucking around with that. Um. Alright, that's the alien stuff. Terminal. Alright, so that's all alien data. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think it's uh, alien data. So let's check. Let's start with the terminal data. Discovered inside an alien facility, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some useful information on the device itself. It is likely a solid-state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low-frequency radio wave containing a complex but recognizable data patterns. It is likely the alien species which designed this technology evolved, or genetically selected, sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcast by the device, and to communicate back. The mental processing required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more psychologically developed than the common human. Assessment. Further research is required. Hmm. So, it's implying the aliens had a way of commuting, heating over, like, shortwave radio. Which is interesting, because humans kind of... We're not as sensitive as many animals when it comes to the electromagnetic spe magnetic spectrum. Um, sort of why, like, you can see animals uh, reacting to the waves sometimes in certain ways. But you can kind of feel them somewhat. They have some kind of effect. So I wonder if they, the aliens just simply had that up to 11. Sort of like a, an RFID card. Because, like, the way RFIDs work is whenever they're close to something that would, like, that's trying to read an RFID card, it actually is sending out, like, some energy, which powers the chip in the RFID card, and when it's powered, the RFID card uh, transmits. But it's, like, such low power that, it, you know, it's, that, that's why they're basically, like, you kind of have to almost make it contact with a, a card reader or something like that to cause it to 
read the data. Um, I wonder if it's like the aliens can do that, but like, you know, on a, on a larger scale and more powerfully. Um, not the not the not the mental processing power doesn't get me. It's it's more like the energy expenditure on that. Oh, thank you for the boots, Camlin. I hope you're having a great evening. We're just doing a bit of catching up on the lore we found in Subnautica. All right, the enforcement platform schematic. This data set appears to be a multi-dimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it's possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction material. This faci facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Power. The schematic indicates this facility was to be powered by a separate, self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy. Layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering section, where this schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a security-sealed elevator shaft, or a separate underwater moon pool. Control. The control room in the lower section houses the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. I see. Um. Let's see, the alien rifle, this fucking uh, IKEA Tonka truck looking. Uh, I have. Five dollars worth of grab bin, uh, knockoff Legos ass rifle. <laughs> Becky, who put you in the glass? So, you know this uh, this guy. Uh, they exploded off this spaceship, and you know they had like this little aquarium with them, and I was taking a nap and didn't realize you know they had like closed it over me. So, now I'm kind of stuck in here at the moment. Um, I'm kind of, like, just waiting for the opportunity to bust out. But, uh, for some reason, like, the glass is just preventing me from polymorphing into a larger form and breaking out. So, I'm just kind of sitting here and vibing until I can, uh, escape. <laughs> is that Samus holding her breath? Oh, no. Now I'm now I'm hearing the uh, the sonic drowning uh, uh, music. That's some that's some fucking nightmare horror music sounds. Tiny and contained. Ah. I can't be contained. I will be free. Let me out. Let me out. I must be free. Out. All right, that was a little, a little too high pitched. Sam is falling into the mountain Super Metroid. Yes. Ah. So let's see. Alien rifle. Strong resemblance to human weaponry and form. This device must have been designed with a hold on. Give me a second. In mind. Oh crap! Oh my god! Ah shit! No! They're clogging up the aquarium. There's not enough space. Ah oh, fuck! The frogs, they're not adapted to this water world! They're not aquatic frogs! They just need a very humid place to live! And we know of one island! Let's see, Doomsday device. Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. What the fuck? Ah! Ah, indeed. I tried to send my frog friends to free you. <laughs> they just bounced off the container. This glass, this glass shield, it's like an impenetrable force field. It's like it's made of glass or something. <laughs> I left via the void, but I returned back inside this glass. 
but uh, Doomsday Device to destroy most of a solar system. So we, so we basically have a mini Halo ring kind of thing. Cool, 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 that's cool. Oh, I think our medical thing's done, so we're going to go ahead and get our next one. Let it start charging. Um... Let's see, this carbon, purple tablet, this carbon-based device is lighter than it looks, features a symbol which resembles a U, lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. While the technology is far beyond Federation levels, and there is no obvious way to interface with it, it should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device, if necessary. Less Halo Ring, more Death Star. Yeah, the spring of Rome is always beautiful. Summer of Rome is always beautiful. The winter of Rome is always beautiful. The fall of Rome is because Nero in the invasion of the Germanic tribes. Yes, yes, Index, you are correct. <laughs> the many seasons of Rome. For some reason, they keep getting stuck on the third one. <laughs> they managed to skip it a few times, but uh, you know, once they landed on it, they just weren't able to leave it. I hope you're having a good evening, Index. <laughs> Let's see. Ion Cube. The risk green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it. Likely grown artificially, cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of a 5 teloton blast of TNT. Under the right conditions, the energy could be released in a controlled manner. Likely uses batteries, but would require a substantial power source to be recharged. Hmm... Ionic. There's something on the tip of my brain about ions and water. I just can't shake it loose. Is it like ionic bond? Like, I thought ionic was related somehow to electricity. So is that would that mean, like, the ion cube, like, don't drop it in water or bad things will happen? But, like, in an electrical sense, not in a, like, alkaline, hey, this is a metal, this is a solid that will, expl that will explode when exposed to water. You so far gotten two, one from Nex and one from Glottal. I think your next target is going to be Ray. <laughs> hmm. All right. Eh. Energy cores, device houses, energy equivalent to a 100 megaton nuclear detonation, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Holy fuck, this thing can curve the bullet! Shit, the aliens have watched uh, wanted. The power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It's currently operating without parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. The alien arch structures intended purposes unclear. Ceremonial, religious, industrial, advanced transportation. Um, it's a Stargate at AI. All right, we just gotta find the right chevrons, and then we can open the wormhole and start galaxy hopping. What the heck is with this planet? Um, apparently, this planet's under quarantine. Likely somehow related to that bacteria that's on us. I'm not sure. Um, we're starting to manifest some kind of symptoms, so it's it's fine. We're fine. This is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, all right. So we read. I think that's a good bit of reading. I want to do one thing before I check the radio message. I want to drop an ion cube. Okay, it doesn't actually do anything in water. Playing partially translated broadcast. I knew biological. 
Logical Subjects Designated Mode Hunting Analyzing Sharing Subject Locations with Other Agents Oh fuck Oh fuck Oh fuck Oh fuck they have a planetary defense system, and then they have either, 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 either there's some of them down here on the planet, but it says nine other agents. So there's not a lot of them, but they might be like engineered guards of some kind. And it seems, it seems whatever they are, they, they've definitely made use of like a biological, like shortwave radio uh, 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 organ or, or, or capability. Oh, fuck! Either that or, or like there's going to be like enemy ships or something. Oh, shit. Looks like survival on Waterworld is a little bit more cutthroat than I thought it was going to be. Great. Now the now the spoopy underwater noises are going to have a more menacing tone. All right, let's get a let's get some fish. I want to let's cook a gary. I haven't had a gary in a while. Uh, peepers are also very nutritious, so I want to get a jeepers. Peepers, peepers. I want to eat your peepers. There we go. And then we need a whole bunch of bladder fish so I can make wawa. Come here, bladder fish. I require your bladder. Aw. Oh, Aw, oh, disgusting. Come on, fish fuck in this water. You really have to fart in it too? I think this is actually my favorite song. Something about the the dudes and the boops just really is my jam. I just love that very simple the progression of the beat. Hey Frosty, welcome on by! I hope you are doing well. Wait, was Table Coral the one I needed? Oh, that was the one I needed this whole time. I'm so potato. I'm so bad about the materials. I need to actually cut off the harvest. All right, what else did I need for a compute? I needed gold. So let's grant, let's find our gold and copper. Or actually, I think it was silver. Let's grab our silver too, just in case. No, the music's gone. No, I'm sad. Uh... Downside. I don't know where I've stored everything. I've got quite a bit of gold, actually. Oxygen. Oh, thank you for the warning, AI. Good, I don't think bees would do well underwater. Well, maybe you could do, maybe, maybe you could do like, um, what spite, some spiders are able to do, where they, they are actually able to get like a water or an oxygen, like bubble kind of thing going on. And he could be like some kind of underwater bee. I'd be leaving you. I'm sure you can make it happen. Or I mean, you're a frost bee. So like you can probably like just freeze the water. Spiders can do what? Oh, have you ever heard of that? There's there's a couple species of uh, aquatic spider where they basically have like a, um, I think it's like a, 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 one of the kinds of webs they can make is like water or is like oxygen tight sort of thing and they basically bring like an oxygen sack underwater
it's actually pretty cool. I don't think that they're not like deep water. It's it's still like lake water kind of thing. You know, yeah. You got you got like you got like um deep sea. Cr you got crabs to be the spiders of the sea. Yeah, they're more like scuba diver spider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I swear we have more so I feel like I'm gonna need two bits of silver and I'm gonna be short making this CPU. And I'm going to be miffed. I need copper wire, but we have enough for that. I don't have enough for a wiring kit, however. What did I what did I need the CPU for? For the habitat builder. Computer chip, wiring kit, battery. I definitely have a battery. We need one silver ore. We are one silver ore short. Are you fucking with me, Mike? You fucking with me? Blood and ashes. All right. Well, crab cakes. Hmm. Let's make our food before I forget again. Uh, so we're gonna cook a Reginald. Yeet yourself into space. There's no spiny spiders. I have you seen Lost in Space? I have bad news for you. It's scary until you realize lakes are already filled with a bunch of little fellows. What's your there? Oh, that's good. Wow, Reginald gives me a lot of food. Good job, Reggie. You are delicious. Directly, what? I'm trying. I'm just. I'm being helpful. <laughs> All right. So let's put our table coral in here with the gold and the silver. And that is a problem for future Drecky to deal with. Get some more table coral and copper. And copper. And offer. And it's a copper. Crawfish and lobsters are already water bugs. Being a fan of Rain World and an arachnophobe is an experience. Um if you do have issues, there is a mod I would highly recommend called Keep That Thing Away From Me. You can toggle creatures by phobias. So you can actually remove all um, spiders and not have to deal with them at all. So like the coalescapedes and such. Um, I also made heavy use of it when I was making my Artificer video. Uh, just because it was very hard to get uh, clean footage when I'm under attack by things. So I just like removed all enemies. <laughs> Uh, water. That's what I meant to make. I'm gonna make a bunch of filtered water. Yep. Yeah, and it's it's a very flexible mod. So you can like ban like all creatures. You can ban by phobia. You can ban it by individual. However you wish to um, improve your experience and gameplay. I feel that is perfectly valid. V. Welcome on by, Pokemon. I hope you're having a good evening. All right, we have a good bit of water. We got some Wawa. Grab a medical kit because we can. Um, current plan is to head back to this direction. Back to the facility. I should make a bacon. I need to make a beacon and drop a beacon there because I will forget. What do I need for a beacon? Copper and titanium. Easy. Let me go grab uh, some. Salvage and copper. It's the copper. It's some copper. It's some copper. Copper. Get some copper. Need a bacon too? Yeah, another star. 
believe so other star is probably something I would assume Minecraft related. Never actually played Minecraft. Only my thing. I like how I have these titanium ingots and this lubricant and nothing to use it with. That's cool. That's fine. I'm smart. Um, let's cook this keeper. And we will get on our way. Wow, a Reginald is actually more nutritious than a peeper. They have learned. The beacon has been lit. Uh, yeah. Oh, hoverfish. All right, we have a, an emotional support little little creature. Uh, just a just a little guy. He's just a little guy. Hold on. Let me let me actually pull him out. Look at him! Look at him! Look at your guy. I would love to have. I would totally get a plush of one of these dudes. They, they make me think of leopard geckos, but like fused with that one. Um, I forget what they're called. But they like swim upside down on the surface of water. They're really cool creatures. What are you? Oh, peepers. Oh, the peepers are not really bioluminescent. Mm, interesting. This should be about the direction to the alien facility. I want to make sure I drop a bacon there, and that way I won't forget it. I also probably want to make another bacon. Uh, yeah, I'll make another bacon just for that um, underwater facility. The thing after I check the alien facility again, um, I think we're going to make a fuck ton of pipes and uh, extend our oxygen path to... Um, that underground, that cave where we first saw, like, a research facility looking thing. Uh, there might still be something for me to scan in there, maybe? So, I'll probably poke around. It's the water. Water with the water hugging close, flowing around as you swim. Darkness above, darkness below. Only light is what we carry with us. Staring at this mod page in disbelief. Do you know how many times I screamed in terror getting it through shaded? Oh, I'm sorry, Cameron. But hey! I hope your Rain World experience is now ten times better. And you can play it more easily. With peace of mind. That's why modding is really cool and cash money. And it's really frustrating when games go out of their way to cripple it. Um, because it is often modders that fill in the gaps for accessibility. And I think that is a shame in many aspects. I, while there could be some argument made in some ways for some games about difficulty being a po the point of some games. <coughs> Dark Souls. <coughs> um, 
that people tend to feel a little bit too invested in it being hard, being the point, um, and denying people uh, validity just because they need it to be easier for whatever shape or form that is. I don't think that's good. I don't think people, I don't think there is an objective way to have fun and enjoy something. And if something makes a person uncomfortable, I think they should be able to align things more in their comfort level if they want to experience something, especially a game. Um, it would be like, you know, removing, uh, 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 I don't know. I can't really think of anything that wouldn't be, like, specifically some kind of, like, uh, I don't, I don't want to, like, specifically call out any kind of, um, disability or, or anything like that. Uh, scan. Shale. I think we have... As a society, we have progressed and advanced such that a, a, a defining feature, I would say, of humanity is that we are able to equalize and lift up those who may be disadvantaged, who may be um, unfortunate, who... who may not have the same starting point as the average or optimal person. Theoretical average and theoretical optimal person, because such things don't exist. Um, like, I think one of the... I don't, know if, I don't know if it's like a specific thing someone said, or if it's just something, a thing I read or whatnot, but like or just general what I think, but like one of the most defining features of like civilization is caring for the injured at the detriment of your resources. So like looking back far into the past, how people made splints and such when uh, someone broke a bone and like evidence of, Whee! you know, set bones and uh, you know, dental, things like that, um, that people can still live and be. Also, whee! I'm surprised no one's hit the random spin effect today. I think when I first added the, uh, the new, updated the Wii and added, fuck you, crab, added, um, the, the sound. Like, people hit the random Wii like three times in a row. Hydrate? Fine. You know what? Why am I running around outside when I could just run around Hydrate outside and inside the game? I could just run around until I get to the huh? cannon. <sighs> no, shit! Where'd you go? I need to scan you. I need to scan that fucking teleporting. There you are. You are probably hostile as shit. Warper. Yep, that is your name, buddy. Did I take damage from that? Huh. Also, gnomes! They can't breathe underwater, you fool! Wow, the scanner does not like trying to understand this this guy. Warper is like hashtag goals for jellyfish, I think. Was it shooting distortions? Oh, that's sick. Most Cthulhu looking fish I've ever seen. I know, right? I freaked the fuck out because I didn't actually see the creature. I just saw like a uh, like a distortion effect when I first got here. And it was like the middle of the night. I just freaked out. First time playing through Subnautica? Yes. 
Uh, so, definitely going in completely blind. Uh, so, so no spoilers. No spoilerinos. For, for favor. Okay. Um. Alright, so from here, we should be able to get to the Stargate. Because I think it's up this way. Why are you smiling at me, Ikari? Is it because I'm in for a really fun time? Having a lot of cool friends and amazing people. You know, we're, we're all going to come together as a group to, um, you know, just, like, build things and, and you know, be just great friends. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, you'll see. <laughs> Where's the fucking Stargate? Fuck you, crab. I'm gonna break <gasps> my legs. I think I'm gonna drop the bacon at the Stargate because I think that's also gonna be the best use of where exactly I put the thing. I don't need that. I don't need health. Don't care for it. It's weighing me down. Don't need it. Dead weight. I want to just go ahead and uh, lop off a limb. Don't need them all. The only HP you need is the last one. Exactly! It's the uh, Magic the Gathering philosophy of life. Some more lithium, I guess, and a diamond. Cool beans, cool beans. Um, I think it's up this way, maybe? I think this is it. Yep, because that was that mushroom I picked up and grew. Alright, so bacon. Edit bacon name. Alright, so we got SG1 made. If we find an underwater, I'm gonna save Stargate Atlantis for if we find an underwater gate. Take my cube! I'm. All right, I have an extra cube just in case I need one to get back. Whoop. All right, where are we? Just, uh, listening to Sue, the whispers of the void, I guess. Literally swimming through the void. We are 2,000 meters from Stargate SG-1. I already have one of these. Why did I get another one? Um... Alright, so it looks like we don't need to spend a cube to go each direction. It seems like it's going to stay on. I also really should have saved before I stepped through. I'm actually going to save right now, just in case I have to swim all the way back. Let's see where this is. What we've got. I did not bring another bacon. Fuck me. All right. Well, it's right next to SG-1, so I can just, like, take the portal over here. Ooh, this looks pretty. This looks pretty. I can't scan these trees? Ooh. Let me scan shit! A voxel! Multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Multiple energy signatures. Oh, that's probably friends! Ming plant. Kind of weird. I like how these things have names even before we scan them. 
You know, if this AI is working for the corporation, I wonder if there's like a preloaded way to assign names to things as they're discovered in, uh, oh, I was, Jaffa Cup Spore can grow. Interesting. Okay, all right, all right. Make sure we keep those samples. Now we can make, okay, so I think the plan is we make an above ground aquarium and an underground terrarium. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Oh, you exist only on the surface? Fuck you, you're underwater now. <laughs> Screw the rules. Oh, wow. Brutal does not like the underwater situation. <laughs> help! Help! Someone filled my aquarium with ink! I'm now a fountain pen! Holy fuck, is this water blue? Is this gonna, is this like an oasis? Is this like gonna be like a fresh water? Oh, that's terrifying. What are you? Rue cluster. Nothing, all right. What are you? Ancient floater. Damn, this floater is big. Will it kill me? Well, I'm not losing health. What if I stab it? Nothing. Shell plates. All right. Hmm. I see something glowing right there. We're gonna head towards that because it's light. I'm not sure. Oh, I think it's an alien facility. Hmm. I don't think I have enough oxygen at this time. Oh no, dragging I put it in. Will it kill me? Proceeds to smash face directly into unknown organism. <laughs> I was expecting it to short me. Actually, if the floaters are like, because we saw them like sort of keeping um, those small rocks up. So I wonder if this was like straight up like an ancient, like a, just a rock underground. Like the only reason, because it's not, yeah, this rock isn't touching the ground at all. So it's literally just a giant, like, piece of continental shelf or something that enough floaters live to grow big and round on that they, like, had enough buoyancy to lift it off the ground. Like, that's so, oh, that's so fascinating. That's such a cool way to have above water uh, 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 land. Oh, can you imagine, like, if you have, if you have a planet with these things, and so, like, if you wanted to build, uh, ground structures on these things, like, you have to account for, like, alright, we can build, you know, we can't build a skyscraper here, because then the metal will be too much and push it back down underwater, you know, so we have to make sure we, we, we are using lightweight materials, you know, um, I need to find the right way to get back in, because apparently, I don't know how the Actually, no. I jumped down to get back in here, so I need to find the way to climb up from outside. I am a potato. Wait a minute. I didn't climb up. I used the teleporter. If there is no way to climb back up, and I have to legit go all of that, all the way back to SG-1 just to teleport back here, I'm going to be miffed. Be absolutely silly. Ooh. I love how those trees are bioluminescent. I wonder if, you know, if everything on top of there would have been originally an aquatic entity, 
you know, as this thing was lifted. I wonder if those things are simply just the ones that were able to survive in, uh, above water. You know, like, all the coral and stuff, you know, the filter feeders, they would have perished. But then, like, some of these plants, like, adapted, you know, if it was perhaps a slow buoyancy. Hey, Drecky, forget the freshwater oasis? Well, it connected to the ocean, all right? So it's not an oasis anymore, Ikari, all right? I have been corrected. Um, let's see. I know I saw... And I'm really regretting... I'm really eating my words now about... Oh, I don't need a flashlight. Oh, I'll just be underwater. Well, they're all bioluminescent. Oh, it'll be fine. Um... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck are you? No, fuck off! Fuck off! What, what the fuck? Are you? Is that one of the agents? Or one of the aliens? Are they fucking telekinetic? I thought they just had, like, RFID, super RFID. It kind of looked like one of the warp creatures. Oh, fuck. We're getting fucking grave-minded. Oh, fuck me, man. They're gonna whisper... They're gonna whisper to me in my sleep, man. They're gonna just be like... Go for a swim. Someone changed the water, I think, Trekkie Bean. <laughs> no, it was ink! You've got to be squitting me, because I inked inside the aquarium. This is what you get when you trap a worm for long enough. My natural defenses adapt. Hmm. Where? I, I, I think I'm on the wrong side. Yeah, there it is. There's that thing I saw. Not sure if there is a path up to there, though. Ooh! Ow. Fuck me, I guess. Let's just break a few ankles. Don't need them. Got two of them. I can use a I can, I can, I, I can lose one. I'll be fine. All right, all right, all right, parkour, parkour, no core, like hardcore parkour. It seems this might be a facility that was underwater, but has now been lifted out. It still looked like broken and damaged. I still wonder if that infection thing is just something that happened or if like they were doing research or biological warfare. Cause like if they've done genetic engineering, then you know, the, 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 the whole, the whole worm of cans is opened on possible shit that could have gone sideways. Don't you fucking small, uh, bonker smile fucking me. <laughs> I'm going to look real stupid when the sun rises and there's going to be like a uh, switchback trail that goes all the way to the top to that thing I saw and I'm trying to get to. Yeah. I'm just sitting here trying to fucking glide up the geometry instead. do this because you played some not into all the hands. Let's have the fun. You know? You know? You know. Um, all right. It is daylight. And I... Hmm. Okay, there is a thing up there, but there might not be a pat. Fucking crabs! God damn it, they're everywhere. Hey, look. 
It's not a switchback trail, but it's basically a direct line. Cool. Good job, Drecky. Can you not eat the crabs? No, they just jump at your face and stab you. It's very annoying, actually. Or in the case of uh, uh, day one of playing Subnautica, uh, they jump off and dive. This one just like yeeted itself off the off the off the ship. Just a casual like 50 foot drop or something into the water. I think the tallest I jumped into water. Is I want to say we, there was like a rope swing, uh, like 10 feet off the water. I want to see say. Maybe it was 20. I can't remember, like, there's, like, the dangerous level of, of jumping into water where it's, like, it you're basically jumping onto concrete. Definitely lower than that. Like, it wasn't real bad, but it was still pretty fucking scary. If I scan the crabs? Yes. Question mark. I think I have. Hmm. New blueprint. New blueprint okay. Acquired. You can't eat the crabs. The crabs eat you. Ah, yes. Supply crate with disinfected water that we can um partake on. Delicious. Amazing. Lantern fruit. All right, now if we take one, if we take some of the lantern fruit, we take a rock and we shove them in our gullet, um, we can make a lantern. Oh, wait, we're not playing gourmand. Grub basket? Hey, yo. Any, any drecky noms here? I was trying to scan that. Oh, indoor grow bed. Yeah, yeah, we could use that. Okay, what can I take? Can't take that. Take a lantern fruit. Near blueprint acquired. Edible. Why not? How many lantern fruits can we get? Oh! And if we can grow this, all right. Ming plants. So these are all seeds. So we probably need to plant this fruit to get this. Like, it's probably that's how we'll get the plant. But we can have some, uh, maybe grow some stuff. I am dropping water instead of drinking it. Damn it, Drekey! You buffoon! Voxel shrub seed. Um, let's not get that many. Also, oh, my scanner's losing power. Oh, right, because I've been using it, duh. But I need to stop right-clicking. I need to left-click. Use the Wawa. Delicious lantern. You're not dropping the water, you're watering the garden. No, I want to water myself. And by water myself, I mean put it in my stomach. Make some inventory by using one of our health packs. Um, so I think hopefully the fruit is enough for seeds. But I would like to grow one of these. We have a Jaffa crop. Voxel shrubs. So I think we're good on seeds. Oh no, there's another thing I'm a bob on the jig. Well let's go to the jig I'm a bob on the thing. Two planted terrariums separate pining after each other, but separated by their families. Coming this summer. Uh Rocchio and Triliet. A forbidden love between two vivarium uh, structures. Uh, both balanced on different mountains. Their unrequited love and this new retelling of the classic tragedy.
<laughs> Who built the th the thingamabob and the jigs? Um, the bob and the jigs, the thingers. You know, you know the ones. Marble melon. Interesting. It says it's indigenous, but this is a Chinese potato. Acquired. I don't... Abandoned PDA? Integrating new PDA data. Okay, uh, normally I've been, um, waiting until we're, like, at our facility to do any data readings, but I feel like we need to read that PDA now, because I am very intrigued. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Um... Probably in data, codes and clues? No. Degasi. Paul. This island was a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. Margaret. No building materials. Nothing left to the ship. Your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. Bart. It's true, father. Natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. Margaret, all I'm saying is, ocean's got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. Paul, the rest of your life may have been a fight. Might have. But I made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Margaret, leave me. I'm thinking on it. Degasi. So is this another prior ship that crashed? So there have probably been ship disappearances before us. Sort of like a Bermuda Triangle situation. Because any ships that come by get shot down. There are people before us. We did find an underwater facility. Now the thing is, these people are talking about... This being above ground. So, this is, um, so the floaters had, or so, wow, all right. I don't know if they would still call it indigenous, even if this place was here before us, but yeah, I guess Chinese potato makes sense in this case because it's actually, you know, an earth, plant that was brought up here. Where is the melon seed? Small marble melon. Perfect. I would say it's an alien fruit, maybe. Hardy vegetable common in Federation space. Yeah, it is a feather. Oh, fuck. The fruits go bad. Um, I wonder if they will decay into seeds or if they will decay out of my inventory. If they decay out of my inventory and I have like a time limit to like grab a sample and then take it to a place to plant it, then fuck me. I'll deal with that later. Maybe we'll just go down to zero. Bermuda parsec. Isn't a parsec a unit of distance? They will decay, but you can still plant them. Okay, thank you. That's that's good to know. Because I know, like, I've seen things decay, and as they do, like, they don't give as much, um... Food. And they also will go into negative hydration. I just... It, this is the first time running into, like, fruits and veg veggie tables. Now, I wonder if the underwater facilities we found are going to be part of the same Degeda people. Uh, what was it? Degasi? Debussy? Yeah, Debussy survivors. Yeah, if a flora is plantable, it'll be plantable no matter what. Okay. Good to know. I think we are... So we, we did have, hold on, what was it? 
Multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Um, so we have a problem in that I don't know where our Stargate is anymore. And if those things, they didn't really have anything I could see was powered. So the only, my only other idea is that there are, there is a second Stargate that has struck the island. Um, so I need to find my first Stargate and return just to make sure. And then I need to see if there is like a cave, like alternate turn that takes me to okay, so we're down here so i guess i could have come out of the um oasis 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 take back the land that was in stasis oasis 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 This feels like it takes me to the coast. I'm not one to boast, but I'm kind of dumb and turn around, turned around. Gotta find me the Stargate, cause I'm turned around. Hey, General Custer, welcome on by! I hope you are having a good evening. You playing some Monhun World? Nice. Capture any good wyverns today? You know what? It's all our, our ship's only like a hundred meters away. We're just gonna we're just gonna fucking save. We're gonna save. Oh god, it's been so long since I saved. We're gonna save. We're just gonna fucking swim and prage. Things will be okay. This is fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. I. This is fine. Hey, spooky Mr. Bones. Welcome on by. And this is Subnautica. So if you are seeing this game for the first time, it does have a lot of underwater. If you have uh, issues with ocean or thalassophobia or things like that, um, definitely, you know, take take care of yourself first and foremost. Thanks for stopping on by. Hope to see you again some other time. We are gonna be a good bit longer. I want to. We need more fucking silver. That's our biggest thing now. We're kind of silver gated. And I do wish I had a better container blueprint because these floating containers do not hold a lot. And I'm starting to grow a pretty big stockpile of silver. One silver to build, to get our habitation hab, habitation habitation thing. Um, we're gonna need a lot of pipes to really get anywhere in that cave. So I'm probably gonna need to make a couple trips of titanium materials out there. All right. Um, what's our inventory looking like? Right in, use the water up. I'm gonna let our hoverfish go. See ya, buddy. Um, we do have a radio signal to take care of, so we'll do that in a second. Um, wait, no, I want to keep the copper in there. No, 
don't care about the copper. So we'll take those out with the main plant. And we'll put the gold we found in there, because why not? Uh, we can put a lantern fruit in here. Um, we're going to want this titanium. Take the silver and gold, and we'll put the... No, oh, wait. Um, we don't need all of these table corals. We'll keep, we'll keep four. We'll put the plant in here, just so we can fit our other two seeds. Let's drop this table coral. Alright. Go in here. Let's make a waterproof locker. Or two. I think we can make two. We cannot make two. We can make another bacon, however. We're definitely making one of those. Uh, I need more titanium. We have so much lithium. The radio says. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oof. Send bear. Oof. Well, I was about to say. Oh, a survivor. HQ. This may be your only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there. So Aurora, you're just gonna have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're computer. Going to sandwich run. You in? Uh, yeah. Give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's the leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the the regular. The regular. Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be. If she doesn't. Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay. The if code. I say regular, and she's like, "What's the regular?" I have to come all the way back up here. The code should be <laughs> two six seven nine. The regular's just a ham and cheese. <laughs> just say ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. <laughs> Things are pretty bad over there. Hey, and hey, we wanted your sub. You want you want mayo on your sub? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so, uh, so, so, what I need you to do is I need you to go to the captain's quarters, and they're out of mayo. It's vinegar and oil. Yeah, fucking whatever, dude. It's just a sub. All right, so I need you to go to the captain's quarters. All right, and there's gonna be a code you need to punch in. And actually, they found another thing of mayo. Dude, fucking shut up. I got. We got an emergency on the line. Oh, actually, you know what? My shift's over. Okay, I'll give you the code um, tomorrow when I clock it. First thing in the morning. All right, I'm, I'm writing in on a post-it note right now. I will let you know tomorrow when I... Yeah, I mean, you know... Yeah, I, I can't work overtime. You know, they're not approving overtime. You know, just just, just stand by, you know. Just go, go in a holding pattern, all right? That was That was a great bit. Uh, certainly accentuates how much of a corporation Altera is. Um, fucking wow. Amazing. I like how we now have like a never ending, we might have like a never ending cycle of them sending rescue ships. And it's like, we keep sending rescue ships and then those ships need rescuing. Oh, that's kind of weird. Well, but guess, guess we better send another ship. There's like no critical thought, just like a number on a spreadsheet. Okay, I want to store stuff and things. All right, I need to recharge the scanner. How do I recharge the scanner? Do I have to just make a new one? That doesn't seem right. Can I use a battery on it? Come on. I have batteries. 
somewhere. Um, we can unpin pipes because I know how to make those I'm good on that. I. Let's make a fucking flashlight. <laughs> Before I forget, that's probably a good idea. Um. Um. Aerogel. Ooh, I know aerogel. Aerogel is a really interesting material because it is like 99% air. But it is an insanely good insulator. I think the 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 example I've seen of aerogel was someone had like a butane torch blowing on the bottom of an aerogel square and an ice cube on top of the aerogel to demonstrate <laughs> how good of a thermal insulator aerogel was. Yeah, we need the silver ore. Need that silver ore. Um, I have batteries somewhere. Yep. We're running into a problem with me hoarding things. <laughs> I will use this laser eventually. Um, we do need this. I need to find my batteries. I have like five fucking batteries. Where did they all go? There's my battery. All right, can I like... Can I... Do I have to build a whole new scanner? Because it says charge. Or do I need to like deplete it completely and then I'll have like a dead battery and I can put a full battery into it. Is that how that works? It'd be really annoying. But whatever. Okay, let's make a flashlight. Actually, let me get an extra battery. Just so I could store it in here. Put a battery in here. Ooh. Make a flashlight too. Awesome. Now, repair, scan, bacon, flashlight. I'm gonna really need a fire extinguisher here. We need to get some metal, some food, and some wawa. We need the titanium. We also need to visit there. Wait, why does it say 175 meters? Oh, that might be down. No? I don't know why that says 175 meters. It's very confusing. Ooh, a tooth. I can scan that. Damn it, Drecky. Noted. Give me that peeper. Give me that metal you were carrying around. That's a funny excuse to have salvage, like, go all over the place. Is like, we got this creature that likes grabbing metal stuff, and they just fucking take shit everywhere. We don't know why, they just kind of collect metal. They're very silly creatures. They're basically caramel lizards. Very goofy guys. Alright. Um, we have... 
food. We need bladder fish for the water. And I'll get another peeper just so I can make sure I'm at full satiation. 